Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before I say a word, I'd like to thank each and every one of you who has been supporting all my videos by liking, commenting and subscribing. I cannot say how overwhelmed I am by all the support that I've been getting in these past few videos. So genuinely thank you all of you. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Please keep doing so. It motivates me. It helps the channel a lot. With that out of the way, let's get to the content. So today I am going to go over the few steps that you can follow or the few changes that you can make on your PC to have your TDS GT and XI perform better. For me, it was performing 10 to 11 FPS better on an average compared to before after making these changes. So first of all, I'm going to put out the comparison videos of before and after so that you know exactly what kind of performance improvement you're looking at here and then after those videos are done i will show you what all i have done to get that performance improvement all right on to the comparison videos okay so now that you know what kind of performance improvement you're looking at let's go ahead and follow the steps that you need to follow to get the improvement that you saw so first of all go to your settings menu which is you can just go to windows and settings hit update and security then go to windows security and then hit um, virus and threat protection here virus and threat protection if you go down you will see virus and threat protection settings hit manage settings here if you go down again you'll see exclusions under Microsoft Windows Defender Antivirus. So you hit on add and remove programs or add and remove exclusions and that will um, show up this, this uh, screen right here. Now, you need to add these two processes as an exclusion. So for example, I'll show you, I'll remove and add these again, just so that you know how to add them. So you hit add an exclusion and select process. After you select, pro after you select process, Type in flight simulator.exe and then hit add. That will add it to the exclusion. Again, hit add an ex exclusion and hit process and then type in gtn underscore simulator.exe and then hit add again. That's it. You have added these to the exclusion. So that step one is done. Now go to your windows and type in graphics settings. After you type in graphics settings, make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is off. I don't know the technicalities of it, but make sure that you have this on off. Okay. Once you have this on off, make sure you restart your PC so that the changes can take effect. From there, we'll get into the sim and I'll show you what changes you need to make inside the sim as the last step or the step three. Okay, so now we are back in the sim here and you can see really good performance compared to what we had before. This is the last thing that you need to do inside the sim. You need to be in the experimental mode, which is uh, you can go to general options here and go to developers and then turn on the developer mode. Or did I say experimental mode? It's developer mode. So turn this on go back and uh, select options and then under experimental select use nano vg for xml gauges now when you when you do this the aircraft will try to act a little bit finicky and you know stop and turn back on and stuff like that don't be worried i would say do it when the aircraft is completely off but make sure that when you're done you have this uh, ticked right here and yeah, that is the last step. I think after you follow all these three steps in order, you should be able to see about 10 to 11 FPS higher than you were seeing before. Also, you will see that the consistency in frames is a lot more. There are a lot less frame drops happening. If you'd see the comparison video, you'll see that there were a lot of frame drops happening when I panned around the cockpit, which does not happen after doing these three steps. So yeah, again, a real big game changer here. I love flying with the TDS GTN XI on all my general aviation flights and uh, having these kind of fixes helps me a lot on the medium and system that, system that I am on. So again, thank you guys for watching. I 
really thank every one of you for liking the video subscribing so please keep doing that hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh, we have a lot of content coming in we have the leonardo md80 coming in pmdg 737 coming in and one more add-on coming in that i cannot talk about well now i can so there's the 310 r coming in as well so a lot of lot of content on this channel incoming not just flight sim content but i'm also planning out some aviation content reacting to some aviation videos so yeah we are going strong thanks to all of you and i will see you on the next one happy flying